little bit of history. You had studied your Civil War during school. You would know this is called Battery Rock. This is where the Unions and the Confederates kept swapping out, putting their cannons up there. That's the reason why they call it Battery Rock. And they shoot boats come up down this river going to Caseville. Caseville was a place where they mustered in soldiers. It's also a place where they kept Confederate prisoners to transport to Evansville, Indiana. This is some of the biggest battles in the state of Kentucky which is taking place right along in here. And in, in, in Illinois, Uniontown. Uniontown has the big battles. Cave and Rock right down the river here. Yeah, Cave and Rock down the river. You heard of Cave and Rock before? Cave and Rock, Illinois. You never been there? To be honest, no. Damn. That's where really, really got in that big cave and you lived there. I think I should have brought the history book. <laughs> Hold on, let me do something real quick. Hey guys, this is Michael. Oh, what? Sorry. Hey guys, this is Michael. I'm with Ashley and April. April. I started to say AP. <laughs> and we're out on the Ohio River, guys. Uh, this is a lot bigger, and this is our first road trip. And uh, we've been invited by two Ron guys. Ron Sale. Ron Sale and Rick. Day. Rick Day. Uh, he go, this guy goes by Soupy, though, Soupy. right? Soupy. And these guys are Little from... Soups. Hey you. Hey you. Mother longs us for dinner. <laughs> yeah. These guys are from the, from what I can re Sorry, be familiar with, Sturgis, Kentucky. And we're on the Ohio River and they have three trot lines set. And we're going to run these, or at least uh, Ashley and April are going to. And they got a combination of all the baits you can think of bluegill, crawdad, uh, goldfish, uh, I guess chunk bait, chicken. Rock chicken. Chick chicken. So we're going to. We're gonna see if we can catch anything, and this is just for fun. So Here. wish, wish us some luck. And you're gonna have some fun. What is it? We didn't like how big. They never met each other, by the way. That was bizarre. The moving well, the lights, the I don't let anybody meet. Gets a lot of air. Yeah. Uh huh. No, they wouldn't do this. Ashley's usually a pretty safe bet. That's why she's the only one that ever meets anybody. That's me. Just call me the safe bet. She's the safe bet. I'm the flight risk. Yeah, she's flight risk. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of fun. Oh. I know how Michael is about giving y'all those little Ben Franklin dinosaur lines. Word? Ah. Thanks. <laughs> they're taped. Now nah, they're safe. You get tangled up, pull the tape. All right. But I don't have anywhere to attach it though. If I get pulled over, you hold it like fishermen. I, I, I sharpen it for you. <laughs> <laughs> now I just think to tell y'all that if you want to wave the bank to do it, because they about to put the then I hit the, hit the sandbar. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, is it really only two foot because of the sandbar right here? <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> something blue guys. We yeah. was looking for something blue, but I don't see it. We was going under. Oh, there it is. Right there, there. That's good. Yeah, I see it now. All right guys, we're up on the first trot line. Oh, there's a big one. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, that's pretty big. Yeah, that's a big one. 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 Yeah, that's a Ashley's on the net. Here's the net. Let's see if we can. let you pull if you need any help. Let me know when I do All right. We got big expectations. Check out the size of these two nets they brought us. Yeah, that one's not. That's a damn. That's Michael's big net. Yeah. You might go from one pound to six pound here. How far apart are the hooks? Ten. You go around ten foot. These ten might feet. be four quarters. Uh, here, let me move out of the Some shop of them, from here. This is one line here we run two foot, I think it was. What is that? Is that our weight? Yeah. And guys, it is uh, pretty much July, so uh, it's not the best time to be doing this. So. Uh, I pretty much... I 
gave a shout out and I said, hey, is anybody out there running any lines right now? And we're trying to look for something different to do road trip. Here we are. I was just pointing Hi. out like. Hi. Oh, God. That, that gets rid of the scum. We count those. You gotta get it in though. Oh, where are you going? Just throw, it. Just throw it in. Just throw it in. No, it's a gar. Is he gonna bite you? Is he gonna hurt you? I think he's dead. He gonna hurt you? No, he's alive. Is he? Give it math. Math is holy shit. It's hung on the. The hook's hung. Okay. A little squirmy around cars. Yeah, Let's get a good Look shot. You. Hold on. Like I said, it might be our only one. Hey. <laughs> might be. It's a good one. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Yes, I think we got something. All right. Uh, if you're coming from the other side. Another guard? Come here. No, it's moving. Hey. No. Is it a catfish though? Uh-huh. Oh, you got your net. Huh? Oh, give me a book. Give me a book. Right. April, right. April style. We got two. Oh, I want to do hook to sell. We got two. That's how you get it. We got a catfish too. All right, hold on, guys. Watch that hook. We got another one outside. Hold on. Are you just gonna say? <laughs> and I mean, they don't care. I was trying to get it. it in the thingy. We're just doing it for fun. If you lose it, you lose it. Right. That's how you do it. <laughs> yeah. All right, here we are at the second line. This one is in a bad spot. Current's bad. Wind's bad. But I think me and April are going to handle this one. Michael and I are going to switch off and I'm going to play cameraman. Michael's going to play point. Alright guys, we're on the second trot line. This one's in a bad spot. And I'm going to run it. April? Yo, I'm ready. I thought I felt something, but I'm assuming that's a sinker. We got 20 hooks and there's definitely a fish. Yeah, we got a little. What is that? That's the biggest. I don't even know what it is. All right. That's a carp. How often, how often do you catch an Asian carp? We don't catch carp. That's what I mean. I've never seen one caught like that. Mm. I thought they were He's filter, huge. I thought they were filter feeders. They are. I cut some open though, and I seen them. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, we see <laughs> We got the wind working against us. <laughs> uh, I was born ready. Warren, watch out for you. What? Oh, I'll say sorry. <laughs> Shredwater River. All right, guys. All right, guys. We uh, we're taking a little break, going down the uh, Tradewater River, and uh, we've caught four fish. We got one more line to go, but uh, that's four questions. And I think we're going to ask the uh, captain of the boat, Mr. Ron Sale, some questions. 
All right, Mr. Ron Sale or uh, Little Soupy. He, he was uh, a person that responded to me. Uh, I said, hey, does anybody trot lining right now? It's not the best time of the year, but uh, they, they got some lines out, so we decided to come with them. And I also asked if anybody knew of any charities, and if you guys are aware, you know, we did a fundraiser a couple weeks ago and ended it. We got $500, and then we have a bunch of people matching that, and we're looking for a charity to uh, give to. And he sent me a picture of his boat, you know, talking about the trot line, and, and I noticed it said uh, Twin Rivers, two, river. two Rivers Buddy Ball on the side. We got a picture of it here at the beginning. And, you know, I looked it up on the, on the internet and I noticed it was a local charity. It was for disabled people. Could you tell us uh, why you have that on the side of your boat? Well, basically, long story short, I was invited to go up there and help put on a little fishing tournament for the kids. When was this? Uh, it was about Se several years. Yeah, 10 years ago now. And uh, didn't even dawn on me that I was going to get involved. I just went up that one weekend. Uh, be honest with you, after that weekend, I went home and tried all the way home because of what I saw. Up there. Disabled kids. Disabled kids. And I said, I've got to do something to help them. I had this big boat sitting there at the house, and I got talking to the guy, the president of the organization, Billy Shane. I said, if you don't mind, I'm going to dedicate my boat to your kids. And he said, we need the exposure. And I said, okay. But nobody down in this part of Kentucky has heard of it. And next time I went up there, I pulled the boat up there, pulled it out in the parking lot, and the kids said it was hers. They climbed up on it, they played on it. They wanted to put it in the, in the Panther Creek Park Lake up there, which is ain't, you know, it looks like a big swimming pool. <laughs> yes. But it was their boat, and they took it why, to this. Why do they call it Two Rivers Buddy Ball? Because of the, uh, Green and Ohio. Green and Ohio. Yeah. And, oh, we got fish jumping behind us. Uh, I did call the uh, guy that runs it and um, talk to him, and he said the way to, uh, donate to their charity is to mail it in and I've got the mailing address it'll be in the description it'll be on the screen right now uh, if you want to join us we're gonna send all the money we got for our uh, fundraiser of 2020 to two rivers buddy ball 202 Riverside Drive Owensboro Kentucky 42303 and if you need that address it's in the description or email me and I'll, uh, I'll give it to you uh, no, I did not know he's gonna do that yes he uh, he did not know that I I just said that we were going to go trout line fishing with him, but after looking at it and talking to the people, I said it, that this is the perfect one. Uh, you know, I'm one to believe that uh, things do happen for a reason. So, and how long you been? He's a commer ex commercial ex commercial commercial fisherman. How long you? How long ago did you do all that? Two years ago, I was run. Me and the wife run nets on Got Ohio. Gotcha. And, and then, then I sold the fish, to give to the kids that don't work. Yeah. So and we're today we're just doing fun. a little. A few fun little small trout line runs, not the best time of the year. We've caught some fish, but we have one more line to go, so uh, wish us some luck again. Okay. Be careful, it's a little different than normal. You feel anything? It's hard to tell. The weight and the current, I don't know if I'm... Um... Oh. Oh. You got something. Yeah, I think it's a bar. Hold on. Yeah. It's a bar. Bar? Well, nobody got skunked. Yeah, awesome. He's still, he's moving. <laughs> That's some good eating right there. <laughs> That's what some people say. I don't know. That's a short nose. You don't clip it from your line, huh? I got, I got another fish, I think, right here. Maybe. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah. This is anchor. Yeah. I knew I felt weight. I was like. <laughs> I'd say uh, mine was bigger. Yeah. <laughs> Your guard was definitely bigger. April had the biggest fish, the most fish, and uh, so uh, because lunch was determined on the biggest fish. What? <laughs> no, you can't make up rules. Words? So does that mean I get to pick out lunch? That's right. Words? You're, you're the winner. All right, guys, we are out on the Ohio River with a couple friends, Ron and Rick, and uh, we got Ashley and April, and this is Michael. Thanks for joining. Uh, we're going to take a little break. There might be a few videos in the next month, but we'll be back strong in the middle of August. Thanks for joining. See y'all. bucks guys we just got paid uh, for our challenge if you've been following you know what that was about this is Ron Chadwick from Kentucky brush I've been advertising he's a friend of mine obviously and uh, he's been he's been helping us out and we did the fundraiser for 500 bucks and he just paid up we're about to take this to the bank and we're going to write a check and we're gonna send a thousand dollars to this address because I had a subscriber uh, send us $500 as well. If you'd like to join us, don't send it to us, but send it to this address right in the middle. It's on the screen. It's in the description. And uh, I was going to let Ron kind of give you all a little rundown of what his business is and kind of end out this half part of the year. To you, Ron. So, we are Kentucky Brush. We're a custom painting and pressure washing company. Uh, any of your painting needs can be addressed by us in the Bowling Green and Greater Nashville area. Yeah, he he's willing to travel up to as far as Nashville, all the way up to Louisville. Yeah, big jobs. He'll he'll travel real far, and uh, regular jobs. Uh, I'd say all the surrounding counties. He's in Edmondson County. We're in Warren County right now. Anyway, anyways, guys, I appreciate you guys watching. I have a lot of people wanting to sponsor us, and I usually turn it all down because I want to make the videos the way I want to make them. And me and Ron are friends, so we kind of came up with the rules. And luckily we were able to uh, come through. It wasn't meant to be impossible, but it was meant to be a little challenging just to give us a little motivation to make videos. And, and I think it was a success. And uh, maybe we'll do it again next year. Uh, and uh, we'd, we'd have uh, Kentucky Brush on again, that's for sure. Awesome. Appreciate it. Thanks, Michael. Glad to be a part of it. Two Rivers Buddy Ball is a charity in Owensboro, Kentucky. And they're dedicated to providing recreational activities to disabled young kids and young adults. The people in charge of the charity are not taking any fee and they are working for free. And they do have a big plan for the year 2021. But this year in 2020, we all know a little bit about being stuck at home. We all know just a little bit about being bored with nothing to do. But we also have that thought that this will be over. It's temporary. Our lives will get back to normal soon. What if that was your life? What if it wasn't temporary? Now, if you've ever thought about helping out our channel, the time is now. Join our donation this month and mention our name if you want. There is no minimum donation. All you have to do is mail it in. The mailing address is on the screen. And uh, if, you, if you do that, you'll give us a reason to keep going. No, I would appreciate that. Thank you.